Hey fam, how's everyone doing? I'm sorry that we have been dark for uh, several days here. Um, I, I wanted a chance to talk a little bit about uh, the situation, everything that happened with the content creators, GAC and Arnold and my role in that. And I look, I'm a huge, huge believer in being accountable for my actions. And I have some accountability uh, today that I need to I need to talk about and I need to apologize for my role in all of this. I'm not gonna be pushing blame on anybody else. I am only gonna be talking about my role in all of this. I would like also to give some context to why I reacted the way I did because while I made some serious missteps here and I, I'm not, I, I obviously I deserve the consequences of that. Um, I also do know that my, my intentions weren't bad. I just did not think uh, very clearly through what was going on and evaluate the situation before giving a knee-jerk reaction that that kind of led to this mess. And as I do this, I, I, I want to speak to two groups of people. Uh, first, I'll speak to those of you who are done with me forever. I'm not going to try to convince you that you should come back. Um, if, if this situation has made you say for good, I'm done with Cubs fan Han. I am disliking all of his videos and unsubscribing. I look, I have to respect that. Uh, that's that's how YouTube works. And if you are that person and you've been somebody who supports this channel for a long time, I still want to thank you for coming here, for liking the videos that you did like, for participating, commenting, and viewing my videos. Um, being able to cover this game and actually make a living on YouTube has been an absolute dream. And I'm so grateful for anybody who comes here to watch these videos, even if... <laughs> Even if you're coming to hate or coming to to give negative feedback, like, man, what what a what a privilege it is to do what I do. And so, if that's you, I'm sorry that we we ended up here, and I'm sorry that that was my fault. Um, but I respect I respect where you guys are coming from. Um, the group that I'll push the rest of the video towards are those who are just concerned, genuinely concerned. Like, wow, why did you do that? Um, where were you coming from? And um, you know, I, I, I think you guys deserve an explanation and deserve an apology. And so I'm going to do that right now. And I, I took some time. The reason why I took several days is I did not want to give a knee jerk re apology to you guys that wouldn't be genuine. Um, if, if you guys have been around my channel long enough, I'm, I, I really want my channel to be a space that comes from somewhere genuine. I don't want to be someone I'm not. Um, I want to have fun. I want to laugh. I want to have a blast with you guys, but especially on Twitch, like I'll open things up and have serious conversations and tell you guys about, you know, where I'm at and what, what's, what's stressing me out in real life and all these things. And so I can't, for who I am, I can't come on here and just be like, well, I'm sorry. Uh, goodbye. You know, sorry for the haters. You know, it's, it, I, I, I can't do that. And so I want to take some time to really consider my role in this and the more that I think about it, the more I realize what I feel the worst about is for everyone out there and there's a lot of you who just looked at that stream that Arnold was going to do and you were really excited about it and that is how you wanted to enjoy the event. I feel horrible that I played a role in taking that from you. That was not my place. I should never have suggested what I suggested, especially in public. And the second part of that is I should have expressed my concerns in a DM to Arnold, which I did have a DM exchange with him. And, and I, I feel like we had a, a pretty decent DM exchange about it, but it, it was public first and that wasn't cool. That was not cool. And it really was not cool for me to suggest, hey, this shouldn't happen. And you know, that's a powerful lesson that I'm learning right now. And it's the first time I've had to learn it. And I, I'm, I'm really sorry that it happened that way. I just, I wish I would have thought about it a little bit more before speaking. Um, let me clarify a little bit of my intention in all of this as well, because I really don't feel like, I think what, what might be the most difficult for me in this is I do see a lot of people assuming some very, 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 very harsh intentions on my part. And it's just not who I am. Um, I'm not a spiteful person. 
I, I, I don't, um, I don't think that's who I am. And maybe I need to be a little more self-aware. Maybe I'm still lacking self-awareness there. I'll, I'll work on it. But where I was coming from in this is I did just genuinely have a concern that was shared by other creators that that stream was going to undermine the event that we were that we were working hard towards and we had been you know planning this event for months and uh, we we had been doing dry runs and testing and coordinating all these things and it it at first the knee-jerk reaction was that this stream felt like an effort to kind of pull the attention away from it um obviously that's not what it was and that was that's that's where my mistake is in all of this but why I reacted the way I did is cuz I wanted to stand up both for my channel and I wanted to stand up for the other creators involved there are some small creators involved that I really I think are awesome people that I wanted to have a chance to have some time in the spotlight and with that other stream going on it felt to me at first like well now a lot of the opportunity for those people to have viewership is just going to be over here and they're not going to get that chance. Um, again, that was just where my head was at. I wanted to kind of stand up and voice my concerns there. Did I do it in the right way? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It should have been in a direct message. I don't think it would have been bad to express my concerns still, but then I think we could have had a conversation about it. Um, one thing as well that I, I wish would have been clearer that I was a lot clearer about when I was in direct messages is while I had concerns, I ultimately wanted to rest, you know, Arnold, this is your call. Like I'm, I'm not trying to tell you, you can't do this. And I don't think that was very clear in, in my tweets, uh, partially because the response was so quick that I just thought, oh, wow, I just need to kind of fade away right now on Twitter. <laughs> and so in the direct messages, that was that was a little more clear. But I, I, I think that that was something that probably could have come across a little bit better as well. So anyway, I don't know what else there is to say. I, I feel really horrible for the way all of this went down. And I hope for those of you who have questions or want further clarification, I will be around in the comments and I, I will respond to, to the questions. If you're done with me forever, you're watching this, you don't think this is sincere, you think I suck, um, I'm gonna live with that and uh, we can both move on. But I still feel like we've built something amazing here in the Cubs fam. And I want you guys who want to be here to know where I was coming from and have that that perspective in this because you, you deserve that. And so if there's anything that you want to know that I didn't cover in this, I will be in the comments responding. Feel free to ask questions. But I, I can't commit that this is this is something that won't happen again. Um, it's something I'm I'm it was a powerful learning experience that I need to think a lot more before I knee jerk react to stuff like this. So anyway, fam, I, I love you guys. Thank you so much for those who do support this channel. And for those who um, aren't able to anymore, I respect it. And it's been a ride. And I love you guys for being here anyway. So thank you guys. And don't forget, Han shot first.